The Nintendo Switch contains multiple amazing first-party games, such as Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey, but what more can we expect from Nintendo's future? Here are six unannounced Nintendo games that need to be on the Switch. Number 1. Pikmin 4 It has been about 5 years since the release of Pikmin 3, which was actually one of my favorite games for the Wii U. The idea of exploring large biomes, building a Pikmin army, and using them to fight monsters and scavenge resources is such a fun concept that I would love to see on the Switch. I am hoping that the new game will put a greater emphasis on multiplayer, whether that be incorporated within the main game or in separate battle modes like the Wii U version had. Either way, a new Pikmin game for the Switch would add a ton more variety to the console's lineup. Number 2. Skyward Sword HD Although Skyward Sword for the Wii got a lot of criticism by fans, I still think that with a few additional tweaks, it would be an awesome game for the Switch. Besides having a graphical update, I think that the game can be improved by removing a lot of the hand-holding elements, such as all the times Fee would involuntarily pop up to offer assistance even when not needed. The gyroscope sword controls could possibly work better for the Switch, as the right Joy-Con feels a lot more precise and is a lot less clunky than the Wii Remote. The only downside to this game being on the Switch is that it will only work in docked or tabletop mode, as the required gyroscope sword controls would be impossible on handheld. Assuming they do fix a lot of the past issues, it would be a worthwhile game to pick up. Number 3, Super Mario Maker Level editor games are not very common for big, AAA studios, but Nintendo's 2015 hit Super Mario Maker for the Wii U would be a perfect game to be ported to the Switch. The interface for creating levels is super innovative and easy to grasp, which is key to allowing anyone to let their creativity run wild. Levels can be easily shared with your friends or online with the world, which really adds a cool social aspect to the game. The game would also be the first Mario platformer for the Switch, but definitely a welcome one nonetheless. Number 4, a brand new 2D Zelda. For a long time, it has been very common for Nintendo to alternate between 3D and 2D Zeldas, and considering it has been a few years since the last 2D game, we may see a new one just around the corner. The only problem is that since 2D Zelda games are commonly only released on Nintendo's handheld systems, we may or may not see the next installment on the Switch. However, considering that Pokemon, a handheld-only franchise, is now coming to the Switch, the next 2D Zelda game might also follow this trend as well. Hopefully this new game will be announced soon, as new Zelda games are always worth my money. Number 5, a Nintendo Land successor. Nintendo Land was a really great party game for the Wii U, consisting of 12 different mini-games, each based off of a different franchise of Nintendo's. A successor to this game would be perfect for the Switch, as the wide variety of mini-games and franchise representation really applies to everyone. Hopefully, the successor will focus on only making multiplayer mini-games, as the single-player ones from the original game went mainly unplayed by most users. I can't wait to relive most of Nintendo Land's magic on the Nintendo Switch. Finally, A Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition. Yes, there is a lot of Zelda on this list, but that's because the Switch deserves more Zelda. Considering that Breath of the Wild won multiple Game of the Year awards last year, many old and new fans alike can't wait for anything more Zelda related on the Switch. With that said, there should be some sort of collector's bundle featuring remasters of Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, and Twilight Princess all in one cartridge. This would be an excellent opportunity for new fans to experience Zelda's history for the first time and give older fans a chance to relive this magic on the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo has actually done this sort of thing before, back in the early 2000s when they made the Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition for the GameCube. This disc contained Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Zelda 1, and Zelda 2 all in preparation for Wind Waker's release. I really hope something like this comes for the Switch soon, as it will drastically emphasize Nintendo's best franchise. Thank you all so much for watching! Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already for more great Nintendo content. If you want to continue the conversation on further, please consider joining my Discord group, link below in the description. With that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.